Well, it's another Friday in Lent, and this one just happens to be St. Patrick's Day. But don't you worry, I'm not going out for corned beef and cabbage. I'm grabbing yet another Friday fish fry. And today I decided to check out a church for a fish fry. And I've come all the way out to Kenmore, New York, in the northern part of Buffalo. And I am checking out the fish fry here at St. Paul's. I'm in front of the old school building here, which is great. It's catered today by BW. So we're gonna be able to do a little comparison here between the in-house made dinner, so I did the fire halls I've been to recently, versus the ones that are catered by the professionals here from BW's. Let's go inside and check it out. Alright, so I got super lucky here as I got the very last ticket. It was actually returned by someone and I met them on the way in and they said, hey, it sold out unless you got a ticket. You got a ticket? I said no. They said we have an extra and I bought it, which is great. And it also includes a drink, which I got a Pepsi, and it includes a ticket for a dessert, which I'll get at the end of the dinner. Dinner cost me $14 and it includes fish, potato salad, uh, coleslaw, a roll, and I think a couple other things. I didn't see french fries on the list, so I'm gonna be interested to see, are there french fries? Is this a new trend? It's catered by BW's Barbecue, so we'll be able to see the difference here between a catered fish fry versus one made in-house, and we can compare to see which one's better. And hot out of the fryer, we have this really nice piece of fish. We have a lemon wedge and some butter. We have the potato salad, coleslaw, some rye bread. We have a little pack of the tartar sauce. No french fries. It's very interesting. Not complaining, of course. But is this a new trend? All right, let's go ahead and dive in before it gets cold and see how it tastes. This fish is really fresh. It just came out of the fryer. You can see how big, flaky, meaty the pieces are. The breading is thinner than other places, so it's not as chicken fingery, if you will. You're not going to be picking it up and eating it like a chicken finger. You can see it's even starting to fall off a little bit there, which is the way I actually like it, where it's not so rock solid, but it may be a little bit of a challenge to eat and keep the breading on the fish, but let's go ahead and see how it tastes. So the fish itself tastes really good. It says it was beer batter, but I'm not, yeah, no, I'm definitely not getting any beer batter flavor coming through, so I'll have to double check that and see if it actually is a beer batter or not, but uh, regardless of that, the breading still is pretty good. The fish is uh, nice and flavorful, and overall, good piece of fish. Okay, so we have this potato salad here, which looks really, really creamy. There's big chunks of potatoes in there. Looks like there's celery. Uh, I would imagine it's homemade by the catering company BW's, not from a can. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. The potato salad is quite excellent. It's very cold. The potatoes are firm and all the flavors are mixing well together. There's some mustard I'm getting, probably some mayo, definitely a nice crunch from the celery. So I really like that potato salad. It's cool and fresh, like I said, so, so far so good. All right, here is that coleslaw, which is sort of like your generic coleslaw. I've seen in other places that finely chopped cabbage. There is some uh, carrot in there. Definitely has a strong vinegar hint to it, so it's gonna be a vinegar-based coleslaw, and we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Yep, it tastes like all the other coleslaws I've had there, that vinegar-based with that finely chopped uh, cabbage in there. Not bad, um, but nothing special either. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the dinner, grab my dessert, and let you know what I thought about the dinner as a whole.
Well, there were a lot of great choices, but I went with the green chate for St. Patrick's Day. All right, it looks like a nice moist cake with green frosting, kind of matches the shirt. How can I pass up green cake on St. Patrick's Day? Look at that. Can't beat homemade desserts. Let's go ahead and give it a try. It's lime. I'm pretty sure that's lime which is not exactly what I was expecting. I thought it was just green food coloring, but I like it. Clean container, good dinner. Fish was very flavorful. Never really got that beer batter flavor coming through, so I don't know if it was or wasn't, but it still tasted good. I am back in the car, and what did I think? Well, I really liked the dinner. I thought the fish was super hot, number one. It just came out of the deep fryer, and it was super flavorful. I don't really think I got any beer batter flavor from it. That's okay, but, you know, the, the breading itself was good. It wasn't oily or greasy. There was really nothing dripping out of the container when I was all done, so that's a plus. It adhered pretty well all the way through once it cooled off a little bit. I mean, it literally came out of the deep fryer. They threw it in there. There was a little bit of a backup. They had to uh, get more fish. They sold out and they didn't have enough product right away, which is awesome. And so they just threw that right in the, in the carton for us. And, you know, it had to just set for a second and it was all set. So it was, it was delicious. I really liked that potato salad. Super creamy, delicious. Coleslaw, eh, you know. Tastes like all the other coleslaws I've had so far with that vinegar base and that finely chopped cabbage. The rye bread was super tasty and it complemented the meal perfectly. But what set this dinner apart for me were, were the homemade desserts. You saw the spread there. The chocolate cake was the most popular. I thought about getting that chocolate cake. I probably wish I would have. I love chocolate cake, but that does not mean that I did not enjoy the lime cake. Reminded me of a cake my grandma used to make with Jello and and different and, and different ingredients like that. I don't think she ever made lime, but. Uh, it was still good and it was a perfect St. Patrick's Day treat. I also got to see some uh, people I knew at the event, which is always great. They were volunteering. I'm super glad when I see people getting involved, especially when they're youth, and getting involved in helping to serve their church community and their local neighborhood. I think that's a really great thing to do. So I'm super proud of, of those guys as well too. So what did I think? It was a great value, number one. It was $14 and included all the food that you saw. So it had the same amount of food that you got over at Elwood. It was a little bit cheaper. Had the homemade desserts, had the drinks, which I think even included beer. They had uh, blue light up there. I didn't ask, but I'm pretty sure the beer was included with the food ticket. So that is super great deal. And it was quick service. It was a nice intimate setting. It wasn't super huge uh, in terms of uh, uh, the attendance there. They sold out at 125 dinners, which is a small amount of people compared to the ones I've been going to recently. So that's probably also a very good thing to think about. If you're going to go to like one of these churches or schools, you might want to call and double check, especially if they've been doing the pre-sale tickets, because they might only have enough food for the pre-sale tickets. So before you drive out there and are disappointed, you might want to double check to make sure they're going to have walk-ups or just buy a pre-sale ticket and save yourself the hassle. Now, all of that considered, the small atmosphere, the intimate setting, the really good food, and the homemade desserts, I'm going to give this uh, fish right here at St. Paul's, which is really uh, half BWs, half St. Paul's with the desserts and what else they're including in the dinner. So sort of a combined score. But overall, I'm going to give them a solid 9.2. I really enjoyed this dinner. It was tasty. It's strange that there were no french fries again. Again, I'm not upset about that. I don't know if this is just a new trend or what, or if I'm just not paying attention. I just always feel like fish fries are, have fries as part of the dinner, but apparently I've been wrong. But that's gonna do it for today. What did you think? Do you agree? Was this a 9.2 dinner? Should it have been higher? Should it have been lower? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, of course, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all of your friends. Show them all these great dinners that they can uh, support around town. And even though St. Paul's isn't doing another fish fry this year, if you see a BW's uh, location, maybe another church or fire hall has their event catered by BW's, definitely check it out. Until next time, see you later.